you're listening to independent tv7 kindly click on the like button and don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel at independent tv7 also don't forget to click the bell icon to get more notification thanks for watching extradition between nigeria and the united states uh, works uh, this is how it works nigeria's uh, abakiyaru a deputy commissioner of police uh, is wanted in the united states after court documents uh, submitted by the department of justice indicted him of uh, receiving funds from one ramon Oshpopi Abbas. Following this allegation, the Super Cup was suspended by the Police uh, Service Commission and uh, removed as head of the police intelligence team. The United States Attorney's uh, Office at the Central District of California issued an order to the FBI Federal Bureau of Investigation ordering the arrest of uh, Abakiyari. But how does extradition work between Nigeria and the United States? Uh, this is the question and pertinent one at that. Extradition is a process by which a person accused used or convicted of a crime is officially transferred to the state country where the individual is either wanted for trial or required to serve a sentence after being duly convicted by a court of law in that same country. Nigeria signed an extradition uh, treaty with the United States on December 22, 1931. Uh, uh, the meaning of extradition treaty simply means extradition agreement uh, between Nigeria and the United States. It was signed uh, on uh, December 22, uh, 1931. Hmm, that's a long time. So there is an agreement between Nigeria and the United States concerning uh, uh, extradition. Well, and it came into fourth on june 24 1935 this was done by the british colonial government and the united states with nigeria being a colony of the british government the treaty was uh, binding hmm. can you see that uh, whenever i try to fourth malami and says he does not even merit his position uh, maybe some persons wouldn't believe or would not want to you know uh, believe or shy away from the truth and the truth now says uh, malami may truly know that there is an agreement you know between nigeria and the uh, united states because he said uh, how can a citizen of nigeria be extradited uh, to united states because he has never heard of such that uh, since we have our own security agencies we have a, a, a panel and we have a court here that he uh, abakiari should be you know, handed over to either EFCC and so that they can, you know, judge his case. Uh, in a nutshell, uh, even in Kenya, Kenya, the agreement of extradition between Kenya and Nigeria does not even exist. So uh, they, uh, uh, in the realm of affairs, uh, and working for Buhari, are just uh, hypocrites and uh, they are very, very misbehaving and unlawful. Because now it's said that Nigeria signed an extradition treaty, you know, in 1931 uh, between the United States and uh, Nigeria. Uh, as Nigeria being a colony of British government, the treaty was binding. Following Nigeria independence on October 1st, 1960, the treaty became a statute uh, of general application as with all the laws Nigeria inherited. An extradition decree was issued on 1967, which later became, became an extradition act that has validated the treaty till now. The treaty stipulates that the contracting parties engage to deliver all to each other under certain circumstances and conditions stated in the present uh, treaty those persons who are being accused convicted of any of the crimes or offenses enumerated in article 3 uh, committed within the jurisdiction of the one party uh, shall be found within the territory of the other party the most common crimes which may be subject to extradition include murder kidnapping drug trafficking and uh, terrorism rape sexual assault uh, burglary embezzlement and arson uh, a person cannot be extradit extradited due to their political ideology race religion or nationality in in the case where two or more countries submit a tradition request, uh, preference is given to the first request. Before Abba Kiari can be extradited to the United States to face the charges levied against him, the United States must first send a request to to Nigeria's Ministry of Justice through its embassy in Nigeria. Article 9 stipulates that the extradition shall take place only if the evidence be found sufficient according to the laws of the I contracting party applied to, either to justify the committal of the prisoner 
for trial in case the crime or offense had been committed in the territory of such a contracting party. If the United States submits an extradition request to Nigeria, an investigation will be carried out to find out whether a crime has truly been committed. Yes, uh, it has been you know, carried, carried out like uh, almost three uh, times. Uh, they, they set a panel, the uh, Nigerian police force set a panel three times and Abakiare uh, is guilty of the charges, you know, levied against uh, him. Uh, now Abakiare is, you know, trying to hide under uh, the sun or wherever he wants to hide. Uh, he does not want to be extradited. But now everybody is pushing themselves, you know, one after another, telling us that the only person that has a financial is the president. And the president is saying the Attorney General uh, Malami should, you know, allow justice prevail. And everybody is just, you know, trying to, you know, cover it up. But this time it is the United States, not uh, EFCC. We are talking of FBI. Mm. If the Attorney General is satisfied with the investigation and believes uh, a crime has been committed, he notifies the court. The hearing will allow the defendant to provide reasons why they should not be extradited. If the court agrees with the defendant, the extradition can be dismissed. If the court believes a crime has been committed, it would order that the defendant be extradited. Following this judgment, the United States will be notified and an agreement will be reached on how the defendants will be handed over for onward uh, prosecution. As contained in the treaty, the requesting country covers the financial cost of the extradition. Uh, there's no problem about that. Abba Kiare <laughs> is not even expensive. They would, you know, arrest him and take him, you know, free of charge. Even if United States uh, uh, wants to deport somebody, it does not even cost them anything. Uh, this is uh, justice. Uh, the case of uh, Adede Jadidina also, you know, in there is no recorded uh, case of any extradition from the United States to Nigeria. However, uh, there have been numerous cases of persons and being extradited from Nigeria to the United States. Most of the extradition requests and approvals have been related to drug trafficking, cybercrime, and terrorism. One notable case is of Adedeji Adeniran, who was extradited to the United States on November 2nd, 2019. Mm, apart from Adeniran, the one I could remember, uh, he invented us, uh, that uh, young entrepreneur uh, that he said, you know, is a billionaire uh, in his 30s. He was also uh, extradited to the U.S. Uh, he's in the United States now. Um, apart from uh, that, Osh Poppy also was arrested in uh, Dubai and uh, you know taken to the United States. Uh, that's an extradition. Why didn't they bring him back to Nigeria? You know, that's why being in Dubai. But when it comes to full animal. They want to you know, sweep everything under the uh, carpet. According to court documents, the group members uh, deposited counterfeited or forged checks into those accounts and then wired the proceeds of the fund uh, fraud to Hong Kong, Turkey, Nigeria, and the United Arab Emirates. On May 2nd, 20, uh, 2005, a grand jury in the Northern District of Florida returned a 20 count uh, indictment against the uh, Adenira. So, concerning Adenira uh, case, following this, the U.S. formally requested Adenira's extradition from Nigeria. An investigation was carried out and uh, uh, and a court in Nigeria issued a warrant for his arrest in October. 23 2018 he was arrested well in the case of uh, uh, abakiyari he has nowhere to go everybody already knows that abakiyari is guilty and uh, he himself knows that he is guilty mm -hmm. well so what makes abakiyari different if he hasn't been extradited this shows bias in our law and tribes uh, since it's a fraud also and this shows and exposed the corruption in nigeria police force and government this kind kiyari heck must go and face the law uh, of his crime uh, and his crime is numerous if well uh, investigated uh, he's scared he does not want to go because he knows uh, he has been exposed so many things will unfold well uh, this is the case of extradition well share your views in the comment section thanks for listening